Hi, I'm CJ Altmerg with TransWest, Trek Trail RV in Frederick, Colorado. We've got a brand new Cimarron North Star three horse gooseneck behind me. This is a really cool, really well equipped trailer that we have sitting here. Before we start walking you through it and showing you all the options that we did on this trailer, we'll go ahead and show you the drawing so you can see how the actual trailer lays out itself. Like I mentioned, three horse, we have a front tack room on this one, uh, just over three and a half foot on that short wall, it's three eight. We're 18 foot on the floor. We're standard 6'10 wide and standard 7'1 tall. So talk about just getting a trailer that you can get in and out of about anywhere. This is the trailer uh, in a gooseneck. You know, really easy to get in a gas stations, really tight spots. Um, maybe you need a little run around trailer. This is a great trailer for that. Really well set up, really well optioned. Uh, Cimarron's an all aluminum constructed trailer. We'll talk about the flooring, the roof, um, when we start walking into the trailer itself, uh, but from the standpoint of the construction, you know, second to none, industry's best floor, comes with an insulated roof, um, all aluminum construction that they back up with an eight year structure warranty, three year hardware warranty, so hitch to bumper, and then you also get a tire warranty that I'll talk to you about in a minute. Very first thing, underneath the gooseneck here, nothing crazy, just your standard manual crank jack, if you want to upgrade to an electric over hydraulic, our parts and service department can help you out with that. You might notice that spare is up a little bit higher than normally where it's down low. And there's a reason for that. So if you want to upgrade to that electric over hydraulic jack setup, it's a bigger footprint than this manual. So we typically have to relocate that spare anyway. We've just taken care of it because this adds time and money when you're adding the hydraulic jack on. So that part of it's already done. So again, it picks it up. We can uh, go ahead and set that on there. We can already have the bracing for a aluminum battery box if you wanna go that route. Um, some people like to just put the battery in their boot box on the inside. There's a couple different options that we can look at there. But this part's already done for you. So again, saving you time and money if you wanna do upgrade to that electric over hydraulic. I'm walking underneath this gooseneck. I want you to be aware of something. So typically from the bottom of this to the bottom of the box is 50 inches. That's been standard over the last couple years. What we've done is we've made that 53 inches. If you have a newer pickup, seen the newer body styles and GMs that have gotten taller, the Fords and Dodges that have had taller beds last couple years, that's where a 53 inch gooseneck drop comes into play. Because one, now we have bed clearance that we want, but also making this trailer run level. Other scenarios, you have to compromise. Okay, what's it gonna be? Do I want bed clearance or do I want the trailer run on the back axle? So it really just depends on which way you wanna go. We can level the trailer out and then we have minimal bed clearance or we nose it up, run on the back axle and we get that clearance. We've gone in and made these 53 just for that reason. Gives us a little bit more height we can adjust our coupler where we need it to, making sure we're running on those two axles evenly, equal weight distribution. Um, this is a standard white trailer, so you can upgrade to black, charcoal metallic, silver metallic. Those are the most common upgrades. You can do custom colors, uh, but there will be an upcharge there. <coughs> Excuse me, so like I mentioned, three eight short wall on this. So we have a four foot offset, so we're seven eight on this long wall. And one thing you're gonna notice is this big door when you're going into this tack room. There's multiple reasons for it. One is it's really easy getting in and out of it. On the door itself, this 42 inch wide door, you're gonna get a four tier blanket pull rack and a gas shock. Brush tray on the door, throw your smaller miscellaneous items. And then as you notice where I'm standing in the bottom of this rail of this trailer, that is a significant step. So we've gone in and put this fold up step to make that transition so much easier getting in and out of this trailer. One of the other reasons for the 42 inch wide door is this right here, swing out saddle rack. But I want you to notice as I swing this out, the distance between the door frame and the actual pad itself. If this was a narrower door, we're gonna start dragging saddles on this and that's not what you want. It's on a gas shock as well. These are adjustable pads. We can slide them up and down. You wanna add more, you can do that. But as you can see, you can still get in and out of this tack room, even with the saddle rack swung out. A lot of other manufacturers, when it's swung out, 
you can't get into the tack room or get out. So with this big wide door uh, that's standard with this swing out setup, it again makes it real easy getting in and out of this tack room itself. Then as we come into the tack room, we're gonna have rubber on the floor. We really like rubber mats, gray rubber mats. Not as big of a fan of carpet, but hey, if you want carpet on yours, absolutely we can build it that way. There's that boot box that I was telling you about from the outside. You could put the battery in there if you need to. Uh, but that's a great place for your smaller miscellaneous items, throwing them in there. Works as a great bench if you just wanna hang out in here for a little bit or a step jumping up into that gooseneck area. You got two windows in the gooseneck. A Cimarron nose is a little bit longer than most competitors. They'll run a 7.6 to 7.8. A Cimarron nose is 8.2, so you have a lot more depth to that nose there. But those windows, you can see out and create a cross breeze. Um, just a nice setup if you wanna throw some, mat like a mattress, bedroll, sleeping bags, anything like that. Over on the short wall, you're gonna have a shelf 18 inches off the wall. It's gonna have a lip to it to hold items in. And then it's got a clothes bar that goes underneath it. So just additional storage. You can never have enough of it. <coughs> Store items up top, hang your clothes right here. Maybe you don't have to take up the back seat, you know, with a bunch of clothes. You can have them right here. Maybe you wanna hop in, change if you're at an event, something like that, clothes are right here. But again, places for items to live is really important. Behind me is two sets of bridle hooks with carpet behind them. These are aluminum powder coated, so they're really strong, but that carpet really eliminates items rubbing against this aluminum and then also creating a lot of noise for the horses on the other side of it. We can always go in and add more bridle hooks. We could do the carpet if you need, um, but we can help you out there. And then behind the swing out saddle rack is gonna be a 25 gallon, here I'm gonna shove this out of the way so you get a good view of it. 25 gallon water tank. It fits in that corner. That's wasted space anyway, but you can carry water on board with you. Maybe a hydrant's a long ways away. You don't have to pack buckets. Having water right here at the trailer or as you're even traveling, it's nice to have there. Above the door is gonna be an LED light. It's an Optibrite, so it's a big clear lens putting off a lot of light coverage for you. Switch is right inside the door as you come in. But with it being that big LED, it's not a big power draw, and again, it puts off a lot of lighting. These doors have massive framework to them. These are items that you're gonna open and close every time. So you want them to be big and stout. It's not a prefab door uh, that's really lightweight. You have to, in my opinion, you have to lock those prefab doors as you're driving the right bump will just get that door to pop open. Um, they'll discolor over time, the prefab doors. So this matches, so you're not gonna have that. Welded hinges with grease certs. We'll show you on the drop windows as well, but really stout hinges on there. You can maintain them by having the grease certs right there on them. There's a brass rod in the middle with a groove cut into it. So as you open and close this door, it feeds that grease throughout the actual door. And then as you can see, that fold up step is really easy to operate and just a good clean look to it. We have another LED light. It's a 16 inch awning light up on your top rail. <laughs> so we have them on each side of the trailer and then one at the rear, an eight inch, but that way you have plenty of light coverage, you know, as you're working off this trailer. Three bus windows, I really give Cimarron a lot of credit. They really try to get a massive bus window in there because you have to remember bus windows, only half of them are gonna open. So half of that window will open. So getting airflow into a bigger uh, bus window is really important. A lot of manuf other manufacturers will use like the, the window that you see in that tack door so you can see the difference in the sizes of them and how much airflow you can get in there. Tie rings, three on each side standard, bolt on fender. So just like I was telling you about that spare tire, saves you time, saves you money. If we happen to tear this up, it's not a weld on where we have to cut off, re-weld, saves a lot of time, saves a lot of money from that standpoint. Two 6,000 pound Dexter rubber torsion axles, electric brakes, 
16 inch aluminum wheels, black silver, ties in really well with this trailer, and then 10 ply Goodyear tires on this one. You'll notice the green tab. These are nitrogen filled tires. PSI levels aren't gonna fluctuate as drastic. Uh, we have PSI versus air, so that should help reduce blowouts, those type of issues. You can put air to it if you need to. Uh, you have a one year no questions asked warranty on these tires. I mentioned the, the trailer side of the warranty. This is through Lion's Head. Um, but if you catch a nail that can't be patched, you have a blowout, you catch road damage, they will replace the tire the first year of you owning the trailer, no questions asked. <clears throat> As we get to the back, because it's a standard 610 wide, we're gonna have a 60-40 rear door setup. As we get wider trailers, seven six, eight foot wide, we'll change these to 50-50. But in this is an instance here, we'll do the 60-40. We can add rear ramps here, just like that hydraulic jack I was telling you about. We can remove that rubber bumper, put a, a ramp over, you shut these independent doors, and then put the ramp up behind that. We can do a hay rack. So a lot of items after the fact, we can help you out with uh, through our parts and service department. Butt strap goes all the way across. Rather than a bar that goes across this big opening, uh, because it doesn't have that rear tack, we prefer the strap just for safety purposes. Horse bumps into it, you drop it where a, a bar could potentially come at you. Solid dividers with pads. Nice big springs, as you see, that wants to pull it to the driver's side of the trailer. So we don't have to hold dividers open as we're loading and unloading. This trailer is tipped towards passenger side, so you can see how strong they are as they want to pull towards the driver's side of the trailer. Divider number one is a stud divider. So we don't have to worry about items. If you're using this front stall for some storage, worrying about those items getting underneath horses in transit. But if you have somebody you wanna kinda of keep a little bit more separated, it's nice to have that set up. Uh, so we do have the stud divider at number one. Kick mats all the way around, recess paddle latches. Really easy to operate, open and close. Heavy UHMW plastic paddle latch, so we don't have metal to metal contact, creating a lot of noise. Again, real easy to operate. Everything is flush against the wall. Everything has a radius when you're touching these trailers. So Simron does a great job on remembering horse safety on this. So we talked about the floor a little bit outside. So this is the industry's best floor, four inch centers. Wherever you have a horse standing on this floor, they are standing on a support beam. Other manufacturers will spread their centers out. That's where you get those pits or those waves where urine can collect and start to corrode over time. So industry's best floor, we talked about the strength of the uh, doors, the upright posts are more of a square. It's the exact same amount of aluminum as this roof bow right here on our upright posts, but they're in a square form. So if I take a 20 foot stick of this roof bow here, it's more like a rectangle. And then the upright post, the upright post moves like a pencil, one fluid motion. This wobbles like a noodle. So we have the strength of that upright post there. Well, why is that on the roof then? Well, we have this insulated roof that's a honeycomb design, it's half inch thick, so it's reinforced. It'll take 150 pounds per square foot, so I can walk on that roof. So it's really strong, really durable, takes really good hail. Um, we're not seeing the issues that we see in like aluminum trailers throughout hailstorms. Not saying you can't get big enough hail to do damage, it can, <clears throat> but it has to be substantial. So back to this roof bow. We don't need that big post and we want it to have a little bit of a bow to it, a little arch to get the water off. So that's why they use this post up here. Two-way roof vents. We can manipulate airflow, really Try to control this temperature with the bus windows, the two-way roof vents. I'll show you the drops when we get outside. But then when you combine it, circling back to that insulated roof, it keeps the stall area 20% cooler than aluminum sheeted roofs. That's a massive difference. When you literally step in these trailers in the heat of the summer and a horse trailer that's all sealed up in a Cimarron and we take you to another manufacturer, you can physically tell the difference in the heat and, and what that insulated roof actually does. We made this rear stall a little bit longer. The reason why is 
we want this back divider since it's solid to actually go against the wall to shut our rear doors so a little bit a little bit larger rear, rear stall compared to again some of the uh, other manufacturers will have a telescoping that's another moving part but we like to have those solid pieces and that's what we did by adding that extra little bit of length there eight inch awning light up, up at the top so there's switches on the back driver corner of this trailer right over here all these lights are on individual switches so i can turn on driver side passenger side this rear and then the interior lights that you see in there again those are those big optibrite lights and in, inside but it's nice to be able to manage all those from right there at the back of the trailer now there's a good look at those drop windows i mentioned from the inside <clears throat> just like the bus windows Cimarron does a really good job maximizing that space, really trying to get these openings large, creating a lot of airflow throughout this trailer. Jail bars that drop as well. You can get some screens through the parts department. All these drop windows, tack door, rear doors, this escape door, they all have the exact same key. So everything's keyed alike. Your drop window on your escape door is gonna be a touch smaller than the other two, but that's because of the framework of the actual escape door. So again, if you needed to utilize this stall for something else, maybe some storage, some shavings, some hay, your cooler, whatever it is, you can throw it in there, access it while you even have a couple head of horses loaded. You've got a chest bar right here. There's some D-rings in here. So if you wanted to add a quarter, uh, corner feeder, we can get that triangle shaped feeder for you. It's already on there and ready for you to use. But again, you can lock everything up. And then again, those really stout drop windows uh, that Cimarron offers. So again, just a really nice, well-equipped three horse. I'm gonna give you the stock number on it. It is available. It is a 2024 Cimarron North Star three horse gooseneck. That number is 5N231116. You can reference that number. So you can call in, talk to anybody on the sales staff. We do take trade-ins. So if you're looking to upgrade, downsize, whatever you need, we can help you out there. Financing is available and delivery is an option. So give anybody a call. That number is 303-684-3400. We appreciate you tuning in and have a good day.